Hey guys, Soul here, and welcome to Soul Reacts to Death Battle. Who is it again? Metal Sonic vs. Zero. Hmm. Who do I think will take the cake? Eh, probably Zero. I don't have a, like a preference here, it's just I think Zero will win. Anyway, let's start it up. Here we go. Go. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mr. J. So I know doing all this merch marketing, like these three awesome Death Battle t-shirts, can get kind of stressful. So we added some new office amenities that I think will help take the edge off. Like the new office jacuzzi. Yeah, no thanks. You ever smelled a wet sloth before? Oh yeah, I've right, seen this commercial before. Maybe a relaxing before. massage then. Yeah, I got a fair hands. Alright, how about a nice hot sauna? It's a fucking toast oven, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Kaufman, and now I got the sexiest shirt in the market. Death Battle shirts. You wear this, you're gonna find yourself in a sex battle. I don't know what that is, but I know you'll love it, okay? Now click the link below and buy this shirt, or they're gonna eat me. <laughs> Maybe when I get enough funds, I'll do it. Here we go. It is the duty of all who dedicate their lives to the Ghost science in the of the show. Robotics. Make the coolest deadliest machine you possibly can just don't make them too smart <laughs> that never works out for you metal sonic dr eggman's hedgehog destroyer and zero dr wily's maverick hunter he's where's an eye boomstick and it's our job to analyze their weapons armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle to the battle wonderful dr eggman was a genius with a dream a dream of a world ruled by his own iron fist. Like any oh, other villain in existence. Just one small problem. A speedy blue problem. Sonic the Hedgehog. The fastest thing alive. No. <coughs> no. No matter how many times Eggman tried taking over the world, this freedom fighter just kept getting in his way. <laughs> but like any respectable Indeed. scientist, Eggman was a problem solver. Thus, he developed the ultimate hedgehog killer, a machine which would not just equal his speedy nemesis, but surpass him. And Dr. Tubby called his greatest creation, Metal Sonic. Because it's just so original. He's even got a sweet chest speaker to blast Slayer all day long. Speaker? No, 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 that's no. not a speaker. Made of metal. Oh, that's cool too. To contend with his cool blue rival, Metal Sonic was built to reach and maintain incredible speeds. And unlike most of his wacky inventions, Eggman actually got this one perfect. Metal Sonic is hella fast. Metal Sonic is also equipped with tons of tools and tricks specifically to overpower Sonic. He can fire a plasma pulse laser from his chest, construct a black shield which seems practically indestructible, and blast through obstacles by going V maximum overdrive. Black Shield? Maximum Overdrive? You're sure he's not into metal? Because those sound like some killer band names to me. To activate V-Maximum Actually, Overdrive, no. Metal no. overloads his own circuits to quadruple his speed while simultaneously surrounding If he has all this stuff, then how come I beat him? If all that was like, enough, Metal Sonic I don't can know, scan his several times to my life. Techniques. Just he wondering. copied the explosive Knuckles Slam from Knuckles. ESP from Silver, the Bat Guard technique from Rouge, and even copied Shadow the Hedgehog's signature Chaos Control. He can only copy specific moves at a time, but whatever power he takes is not limited by his physical body. This is because Metal Sonic can actually morph and manipulate his form. He totally stole that from T-1000. Funny yeah. mentioning Terminator because you're not too far off. Metal Sonic is so powerful that he's overcome his own programming, overthrown his creator, and attempted a global takeover all on his own. And, and he yet he fails too. all the he time. He shielded attacks from Shadow's deadly Chaos Spears and Silver's telekinetic ESP. He's dodged attacks from Knuckles, Amy, and Espio Competed the in the Olympics? Time. And he even competed in the Olympics! When? You know how tough it is to qualify for oh, that? Oh, like, okay. Like, really tough. Okay. Plus, he gives Sonic Party a game. run for his money whenever they race. Metal can match and sometimes even outpace Sonic's speed. All Sonic's player specific controls top him. speed is technically unknown. He boasts that he's faster than light, but he has yet to prove this in canon without the aid of additional equipment. Sonic's highest speed is officially described as hypersonic, and his best record comes from Sonic Unleashed, where he's recorded running up to 3,000 SPD. 
Assuming this translates to metric meters, given the game's Japanese development, this puts Sonic in the high end of the hypersonic spectrum, clocking his highest recorded speed at a whopping 6,711 oh, miles per hour. That's over eight times the speed of sound. Damn, I wish I was that fast. Could have escaped my ex-wife way before things got serious. This speed is likely what that? Dr. Eggman was aiming to beat when designing Metal Sonic. Even then, with his abilities like V Maximum Overdrive, Metal Sonic can increase his speed up to 26,844 miles per hour. That's Mach 35, more than enough to reach escape velocity. And this bot has a lot of power behind him. In one of his battles with Sonic, their conflict caused enough damage to break off that ginormous stalactite over the city. Look at the size of that thing! Oh, wow. By comparing its size to the nearby buildings sure that's metal and Sonic's granite fault, based composition, though. We can estimate that the stalactite weighs over 46 oh. million tons. The energy required to cleave a rock that size could be as high as 200,000 tons of TNT, 10 times the power of the atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki. And if that's not powerful, how many times have you mentioned Sonic has a couple that of in life? Forms. There's a red Your titan form, his three. neo form, and best of all, this metal so overlord. Again with the band name. By copying the powers of Sonic and his friends, Metal transformed into this flying dragon-looking thingamajig. He can fire missiles, uh, he wasn't gigantic so tough when I beat him. crystal, trap opponents, and destroy everything. Metal Overlord is so impressive, it took the combined might of Super Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles to take him down. Yeah, he may be metal as hell, but he's not indestructible. And Despite Sonic let him live Sonic too, to cause more trouble. Way, he still loses fights to him more often than not. Mm -hmm. Metal Sonic is extremely durable, but his internal systems are susceptible to overloading if pushed too far. For example, every time he uses his V maximum overdrive attack, he risks permanent damage. Also, even though he's mimicked multiple organic abilities, they're sort of simplified versions he's never displayed any at their greatest potential. Still, this is one of the deadliest machines we've ever seen. As long as Metal Sonic's around, even the fastest thing alive struggles to keep up. You mean the fastest? Eh. All living things kneel before your master. How'd that work out for you? Still kicked your ass. For decades, the robotic war between Dr. Light and Dr. Wily left destruction in its wake. No matter how many machines Wily created in his quest for world domination, Dr. Light's own Mega Man was always there to stop him. But like any successful genius, Dr. Wily was determined to have the final <coughs> word, even if it came from beyond his grave. Wily put all the smarts he could into creating the best robot he'd ever built. Its name Zero. was Zero. Dr. Wily's God, plan to create music. the world's most powerful robot succeeded all too well. Designed for combat and violent by nature, Zero was primed to put Wily back on top. Just one problem. Because of a glitch, Zero was totally disobedient to Dr. Wily and attacked him. I mean, I don't blame him. If that face was the first <laughs> thing I saw when I woke I'll up, punch his ass I'd probably I'll punch it too. Bitch. Or send it back bitch. to the bar whence it came. How sad, all that hard work wasted over a single programming flaw. Why Wily couldn't he fix it? was seal Zero away, and he wouldn't be discovered for another 100 years. But a long nap wasn't enough to calm him down. <laughs> when he woke up, he wasted everything around him, until he was stopped by Commander Sigma, the leader of the PTV I think this Maverick was Hunter. from X4? Sigma may have stopped Zero, I'm not sure. but then things got complicated. For some reason, Zero Stasis Pod also contained a mysterious Yeah, this is from virus. X4. The virus infected Sigma and, for some reason, Sigma. swapped Sigma and Ultron Zero's Sigma. morality alignments. So Sigma, Sigma turned evil and Zero turned good. Just like Robot Freaky Friday. <laughs> He's a good guy now. Zero <laughs> okay, that was good. That was good. His mission to eliminate any machine which posed a threat to the world. Because See, no, I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. Crime nope, with a laser nope, sword. Nope. He's certainly well equipped for the job. The Z-Buster is Zero's go-to long-range weapon, with both rapid fire and charge energy shots. I He's also personally got tons prefer of deadly swords. spears, hammers, and chains, but his favorite weapon is his trusty energy sword, mm -hmm. the Z-Saber. The Z-Saber is arguably Zero's most essential weapon. 
With it, he can cut other machines down to I've size with a game. wide variety of grounded and airborne strikes. I think I prefer the 2D Furthermore, version. he can enhance his blade by mimicking the power <coughs> of his enemies. This lets him use the Z Saber for attacks imbued with fire, ice, electricity, and even metal. But he can copy more than just sword stuff. Zero can use the twin dream technique to create a clone which mimics his every move. He can summon robot dragonflies to fight alongside him, drop down beams of energy <laughs> from the sky with Rakoha, and even use Dark Hold to temporarily freeze time. If necessary, Zero can activate Black Zero mode. This form halves his defense in order to double his attack power and quadruple his speed. He can also transform into the stronger and faster Absolute Zero. Yes, that's what it's called. In this form, he What's loses access that? to his Z-Sword and acquired abilities, but he gains razor-sharp claws and the power of flight. Wait a minute, where was, was this in Marvel vs. Capcom 4? Cool no, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Shit. He was it in that? Dozens of I don't know. And even Sigma himself, multiple times. Not to mention stopping dozens of other threats to the entire planet. Such as when Eurasia, an enormous city floating in space, fell to Earth in a crash course similar to the asteroid which annihilated the dinosaurs. <coughs> That's okay, Zero took care of it. How? By flying a space shuttle right into it like a badass. And he survived! Suck that, asteroid city! Sounds like Moreover, plot it's armor. important to remember Zero was specifically built to be far superior to the original Mega Man. We've analyzed Mega Man before <laughs> and learned he could keep up with the speedy quick man and catch a 60,000 ton castle. So, Zero's better than that. Zero is undoubtedly Dr. Wily's greatest creation, but like the mad scientist's other machines, he has his downfalls. Despite being a machine, Zero is susceptible to exhaustion, and if he receives too much damage, not even his auto repair systems can return him from the brink. Also, he sometimes comes down with a bad case of edgy oh, anime no, 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 no. What am I fighting for? Oh. And yet, Zero oh, is a fearless guardian who won't chance. rest until his world Why? safety is secure, even if he has to be reincarnated multiple times to do it. And pick his own ass! <laughs> I don't even need my sword for such an easy fight. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, robots can't really enjoy food. But for all the humans out there, do I have news Let's... for you? Uh, I think I'm still Green going to go with always said that nothing zero in life is better than fight. good food and making something know, with just zero that. two hands. And Blue Apron because is both those things uh, combined. Blue Apron is the one more like a hero or an anti-hero. All Metal Sonic, right uh, more door. like the yeah, bad guy, and he, and, and we always, kick, as the players, we always kick his ass. Wah, wah. So, and despite and Zero's faults, they're not as Blue bad Blue as Metal Sonic. I mean, even and there's also, I think there's hey, the human factor with Zero, so, yeah, I'm gonna go with Zero and as long as he doesn't go, no, no. as long as if, if, if Zero's not protecting so someone in this fight, Check out this and Metal Sonic kills the person that, free, you know, Zero's protecting, then it'll be fine. How good it feels. It'll be just fine. To incredible home -cooked meals with oh yeah, I finally got something to stand up my anime figures. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. But right now, it's time for a death Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So recording? Yes. Found a maverick. I'll take care That's of it. That's no maverick. Now. Ah. Damn, we get into the fight already? <laughs> nice. Did they get, um, what's his name, the voice hero? Um, Johnny, um, Johnny on Bosch? Oh, oh, come on. I mean, it sounds like him. Oh, shit. Locked on. Oh, e you can easily dodge that. Oh. Oh. 
Damn. Come on, Zero. You got this. Let me guess. You're going through your huge, uh... Oh. Maybe not. You know, like huge, um, Metal Sonic form that's in that game. Sonic Heroes. Yep, there it is. Okay, he's Black Zero now. All I can do now is go after Zero. <laughs> this fight is going way too fast. Oh, there we go. Sonic was a worthy adversary, but Zero was simply better equipped for this battle. At Mach 35 speeds, Metal seemed like a shoe in for better speed, right? On paper, maybe. But remember, Mega Man beat Quick Man, and Zero was built to surpass Mega Man in every way. Makes sense. Quick Man's top speed was recorded at 224,000 miles per hour, over eight times faster than Metal Sonic. Scaled to the inferior Mega Man, Zero could certainly handle a machine of Metal Sonic's speed. Zero's vast arsenal also gave him plenty of options for just about every situation, Makes sense. even when Metal tried screwing with time. Unlike Metal, Zero actually possessed multiple methods of oh, okay. which were more instantaneous and just as effective as Metal Sonic's imperfectly copied Chaos Control. So Zero definitely had the advantage in that field. The durability difference was pretty clear too. Zero's feat with the Eurasia Space Colony trumps anything Metal's ever endured. The resulting explosion was similar to the asteroid impact which killed the dinosaurs, an event estimated to have equaled 100 trillion tons of TNT. But even surviving a tiny fraction of that explosion was far more impressive than the 200 kilotons of TNT needed to break that giant rock. And that was from Metal Sonic and Real Sonic's power combined. Even ramming Zero at full speed would not have done much. Moving at Mach 35, Metal's 276-pound body would only hit with enough force to destroy a building. To be blunt, not only was Metal Sonic outmatched in speed and durability, but he didn't have the means to truly kill Zero. Whereas Zero's shown time and time again that he could destroy enemies just as tough and bulky as Metal Overlord. Looks like Metal Sonic was the real Zero in this fight. The winner. <laughs> Hey, don't go away. We're about to reveal the matchup for the next episode of Death Battle. And if you want to see exclusive commentary but on yeah. this episode, click that little button over there and start a first membership trial. I'm glad I chose Zero. Next time on Death Battle. Huh? Oh, whoa. Lucario versus Renamon? Another Pokemon versus Digimon battle. Oh man. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to tell you my thoughts when that video comes out. But as for Mel Sign for Zero, I'm glad I chose Zero. Again, not biased. I just thought that Zero is the logical choice. And Mel Sonic, he got our ass he got his ass kicked way too many times by us. The players. So, that is it. I shall see you guys later. Peace out, John. Here, old fellow. Come here. Ow, ow, ow. You're on camera. No. He always says this. This is Leo, everybody. Say hi. Don't pay attention to me. Ah, no, not the eye, not the eye, not the eye. Ugh. Dang it. Jeez, old man. There we go. Yeah, yeah, this is Leo. <laughs> there we go.
See you in the next video. There you go. This.